Hello, Munaka. Welcome to the Time Sports Show. Thank you for joining us once again. A lot happening in sports again uh, from this weekend and this weekend. We have uh, the big one, the Pacific Games uh, in the Solomon Islands. Our team, uh, Team Fiji, already there. And of course, uh, games begin today with the official opening on Sunday. And we wish uh, our Team Fiji athletes and officials, about 500 of them there, the uh, very best uh, in their pursuit of uh, claiming gold, silver and bronze medal in whichever sport they are participating. Also this weekend, uh, tomorrow that is on Saturday, we have uh, the toe-to-toe -to -toe boxing promotion. A lot of people looking forward to that one. A former boxing world champion, uh, first ever from Fiji, we can say, uh, Reynald Quinlan Watumbua. He will be representing Fiji, flying the Fijian flag against the Bullet, a lot of uh, a lot of people's favorite here in Fiji, Sikeli Senindoko, the man from Meta Siri. They will uh, go up against each other in uh, the main bout. That's an eight by three minute round cruiserweight bout that's happening at the Vodafone Arena tomorrow, starting at 5 p.m. And to talk more about the program, we have the man himself, uh, Reynald Quinlan Batambua. Here with us, uh, uh, Quinlan, thank you for your time. Thank you for speaking to the Fiji Times. I know you have a busy schedule. Uh, just arrived in Fiji earlier this week from Australia, where you're based. Uh, first thoughts, your first thoughts on uh, on your opponent, Sikeli Senindoko. I know you must have followed him uh, heading into the fight tomorrow. Yeah, I've, um, I was told that my opponent was changed. Um, so a lot of step up in weight. Then I don't know much about him, but I know he's, uh, he's a fighter. He's going to fight. And tomorrow night, you guys will see um, what's going to happen. Mm. Looking into this bout, uh, world champion, former world champion, IBO title you held. There's a lot of people looking forward to it. Uh, we do not have uh, world champions coming to Fiji every day when it comes to boxing promotions. Uh, do you feel there's a bit of pressure on you uh, with uh, with the Fijian uh, eyes on you tomorrow? Uh, I don't feel the pressure. Uh, to me, I look at every opponent as a little fighter. I can't take it, can't take it um, Even though I'm a former world champion, I know that he'd be, he'd, he'd want to beat a former world champion. So. Got to be on my game. Yeah. But there will be that uh, there is a bit of pressure, but I'm not looking over it. Mm. For you personally, uh, what what does this fight bring to you? What what are your plans like heading into this fight and after this fight? Are you using this fight as a stepping stone for something bigger? Um, I am. I'm using this fight as a stepping stone to pull back slowly. Um, so even they put it in front of me now, it's a um, stepping stone to get back to the war stage. Uh, but this time around, it will be building back. Or from Fiji, so fighting from Fiji, for Fiji. Mm. Now, the bullet uh, is not the opponent you were initially scheduled to fight. Uh, what happened there? I don't know, I don't know what happened. Uh, they called me and told me that uh, his name, that New Zealand pulled out. But yeah, then they asked a couple other fighters. I think Quadra asked to fight Quadra. I already beat Quadra before, but he didn't want to fight. Maybe if he did, I'd probably end the career. A um, couple other fighters, but uh, the bullet stepped up, and um, yeah, it's going to go with what's in front of me tomorrow. Mm. You fought uh, Quadro, but you fought another Fijian boxer, it was uh, Naliva, that was last year, and you beat him by knockout. Uh, uh, your, your thoughts on uh, boxers from Fiji? I'm, I'm pretty sure you watched other boxers go and fight abroad and some other fights here. Yeah? Other boxers there, yeah. everyone's talented, whether you're boxing, free player. Well, it is a talent here. It's just a matter of being fit, pushing, pushing to strive your goal what you want. Um, the same with anything you do in life. Um, so I look at the boxes there as well. There's, they're starting to, starting to achieve a lot as well, especially in the amateurs. Um, yeah, they can become anything. Anything you want, you can become. Just be mindful. Mm. You fought Naliva in Nandi at Prince Charles Park. That was uh, how how would you rate rate the boxing atmosphere when compared to your fought in Singapore, Australia, in UK, uh, what, what was it like in uh, boxing in Fiji? Boxing in Fiji was good. It was always a long time coming out to, to fight. Um, it was a blessing as well, you know, to see everyone, um, the crowd. I think it's, it's starting to pick up. But tomorrow night it's the first time I'm going to fight at the arena, at the arena. And I um, hope that it, it, it's, a, it's a good turnout. Um, yeah. Hmm. There's some. Uh, there's, a, there's a few people asking about your links to Fiji. Uh, maybe a bit of uh, your family background here and how how you link to Fiji. Um, my link to Fiji is um, on my mom's side. 
Uh, my mum uh, from Ndavu, sorry. Um, but I don't know that much of my mum's side, which I want to, which I want to do in the near future. Learn more about this side of my my family. Mm. Your records on Box Rec show that you've been representing Australia all this while. Uh, you said you you want to fly the uh, Fijian flag from uh, from tomorrow. Uh, why that change, and you know how, how did the change happen? The change happened. You know, all, from all Korea, I was always from Aboriginal Indigenous Fiji. Always represent both sides. I've done a lot for for back home. I just you know I'll one of these last these last few years that I want to put in. So I represent so represent Australia, but represent most mum side Fiji side. Mm. Every boxer has a story of uh, of their nicknames. Uh, you fighting the bullet. You're known as the destroyer. Uh, how 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 did that come about? Uh, you know, that that name come about. At first, I was a uh, hitman, and um, coming up, and my uncle, my dad's brother, gave me that name, the destroyer, the Dundee destroyer. Um, as a warrior from our tribe, I was uh, what well, was one of the fighters. So yeah, he gave me that name, and just stuck with that name. Yeah, mm. and then why I think it was first coming in my career, destroying. Others, yeah. You mentioned you you would have ended uh, Kwaja's career if if he did opt to fight you. Uh, do you do would you want a rematch? Uh, though you beat him, would you want a fight with him in Fiji since uh, he's he's dominating the cruiserweight division in Fiji for the he's, past year? He's years? dominating the cruiserweight division. This is my first fight with cruiserweight, so I'm coming up to him in um, bullets weight. So I want the fight to happen. Let it make it happen next year in April. Um, live with my own manager. Uh, but yeah, if they want to fight, I'm happy to fight. Anyone that wants to fight, we're happy to fight. I'll, ne I'll never take a backward step. Mm. This uh, fight tomorrow, uh, you mentioned it's going to be a stepping stone in your career. But uh, on, on the bigger picture, you'll be flying the Fijian flag for, for the first time. Right. And uh, there's a lot of hopes uh, from you now uh, to carry the Fiji name forward. Boxing has been a happening thing uh, lately here in Fiji. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't a break for some time. So, do you, do you see a good future? Maybe another shot at the world title in the near future? I do, I do see another shot at the world title. Um, but it comes down to, at the end of the day, it comes down to you put, put yourself in the right, right space, focus. You know, so, whatever you're doing, whatever it's, whatever you're doing throughout your career, you got to be 100%. Don't be 99%. And I believe that if I want to get back to the top, I've got to be 100% do that i believe in the near future god willing, god willing that it does happen i've got to be in of my mindset everything has to be 100 not half-hearted so my father i'm not going to get to, back to the top but this time around i'm going to get another shot mm. your current ranking in australia says you're, fi you're ranked fifth in, in your division uh you've, you've made a name for yourself in the ring there's a lot of people who know you uh are there other boxers who are willing to Australian boxers who are willing to come and fight uh, Fijian boxers in the near future? Are there any talks already going on with you with any of the boxers? Um, I'm not too sure about the fighters over there, but I think a lot of the fighters back home in Australia they know that I'm a fighter, that I'm a very dangerous fighter. When I'm super fit and when I'm 100, never ever wants to fight. But a lot of fighters will hit me when I'm I'm not training, not doing nothing, and they'll tug me, tug me. But if they know that I'm 100 ready. That it's very hard for them to to fight. Mm. You 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 surely would have had a, a look at the draw card. There's some there's some good uh, lineup with uh, what nine professional bouts on the evening. Your general thoughts on 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 that uh, whole night tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow I just I look at all the fighters that that they put on a good show, you know, for the fans, for, the, for everyone that's showing up. Um, so it'll be good to see the the next generation, some of the next talent that's coming through um yeah so yeah i haven't seen much of the fighters but it'll be good tomorrow to watch mm. i know the way in is later today but have have you ever got to meet uh, your opponent personally no no so today is probably the first first time yeah, yeah. okay uh, your final message to the fans who will be coming down or, or who are thinking about coming down to uh, watch the promotion tomorrow um, come down enjoy it there um It'll be a good turnout. Everyone will be in for a good night, um, especially when it comes to the main event. Main event, and yeah, um, I'll make sure that there's that I'll put on a good show, and inshallah, God willing, that I'll get the win.
Thank you very much, Greenland, and from all of us, we wish you all the very best, not just for tomorrow, but uh, your future here in Fiji and all the other fights that you're going to be part of. There you go, the man himself, uh, Rainer Quinlan Batumbua. He'll be up against uh, Sikeli Senindoko uh, in the main bout, 8x3 uh, minute round cruiserweight bout at the Vorfon Arena tomorrow. We'll just run through the other bouts, the main supporting bouts. Uh, it's Apisai Nangida, the man from Ra. He'll be up against Paulo Ratumai Koro. Uh, he's a super based boxer and uh, they will battle it out in uh, uh, in the super middleweight uh, eight by three, six by three minute uh, contest. Uh, the other one will be uh, Simon Itui. He's up against Lesio Mbalai Kasavu. Uh, Junior Firoz uh, from Nanronga. He'll be taking on uh, Matthew Michael and there's a few other bouts. Very interesting bouts, very interesting night of boxing being expected tomorrow. You can grab your tickets from uh, sports hall outlets uh, around Suva and Nosori. Tickets will also be sold at the gates. Tickets range from 20 to $50 and uh, make sure to grab your tickets early to avoid, avoid disappointment and get the best seats in the house. So Vodafone Arena, 5 p.m. tomorrow. Toe to Toe Boxing promotion back after 12 p.m. See you there. Thank mm -hmm. you.